Hello, I'm Barry Rogers and welcome to the blog. I am starting the Dukan diet plan today and over the course of the next few weeks I'll be putting my progress, posting my progress up on this blog and you'll see the posts that will appear below this video and if you're watching on YouTube you have to click the link and then you get to the blog and then you'll see the posts. But uh, I got to the stage where I'm weighing the heaviest I have done in my life Cutting out the occasional beer or the occasional slice of bread just wasn't working for me. I had to do something a little bit more radical. And a friend of mine visited a couple of months ago and she looked fantastic. She'd lost a hell of a lot of weight. More than that, she looked healthy. She had a glow about her. And she told me that this was how she did it, the do can diet plan. She found it easy. She'd done diets in the past which she didn't find easy, but this she found easy to do. Uh, she ate as much as she wanted, she never went hungry, she ate good healthy food as well. And I thought, well, hang on, this sounds doable, this sounds something that I could do as well. Because, you know, sometimes you look at diets and you think, nah, I can't do that, I can't see myself doing some of them for more than a couple of days, let alone a few weeks. So I went and bought the book, I went and bought the, uh, the Dukan Diet book and uh, read through that and yeah, I was impressed. I was impressed with the way in which the diets were formatted. Um, I was impressed in the length of time that it took and how you stabilized and consolidated your new weight and didn't put the weight back on again. And I thought, okay, this is for me. For those of you who are not aware of the Dukan diet plan, it's basically four diets connected together. The first one's called the attack phase and lasts for two to ten days, about five days being the average. And in this phase you eat nothing but proteins. I know what you're thinking, this sounds like some other diet I've heard of before which has not really worked. This is for a short period only and you're eating pure proteins and not eating fat, so it's a lot healthier. After this time, five days or six days, however, whichever is right for you, You've lost a little bit of weight, so it gives you encouragement, okay? We're all looking for encouragement when we start a diet. Then you enter a cruise phase, and the cruise phase basically is alternating between pure protein days and proteins with vegetables. So you get that big variety in your diet. There's over a hundred foods that you can choose from during this time, and they're all good foods, they're all healthy foods, and they're all delicious. And you don't have to go hungry. Eat as much of them as you wish. That's the great thing about this diet. You don't have to go hungry. You don't have to count cal calories or anything like that. And then the next phase after that is a stabilization phase. And here you start to introduce back into your diet things like bread and, and a little bit of pasta and, and, and beer maybe, hopefully. Uh, and the things that you've uh, done without for a few weeks. And once that phase is complete, then you're home and dry. Then, if you follow one or two simple rules, you'll keep that weight off and stay at that weight for the rest of your life. Now, that was appealing to me. So, let's take a look now and see what I've got to do in order to get from the whopping 109 kilos that I weigh now, 108 kilos as I weighed myself this morning, down to a more acceptable 82 kilos, which is about right for me. Let's take a look at the graph, see what I've got to do, and then we'll talk again afterwards. Okay, here's my profile. As you can see, here's today's date, 28th and 9th, 2010. And I weigh, at the moment, this morning, a whopping 108 kilos. That's 237 pounds. This weight really has put on, I've put on over the last six or so years since I stopped smoking. I was a little bit heavy before then anyway, but now it's really got too much and it needs something radical. The occasional, missing the occasional beer and the occasional slice of bread just wasn't working for me it needed to be uh, done properly. And this is what I've chosen. So here we are, the attack phase. That's the first phase. Now, although the good doctor, I respect you, you know, Dr. Dukan, I think your book's great, your diet plan's fabulous and everything else, but two days ain't doing it for me. I'm going to do this for five days. Um, five days of lightning attack where I'm going to eat nothing but proteins. Drink lots of water, get some exercise, just mild walking, and uh, hopefully my weight will drop well below this 1.1 kilo that you've mentioned here. It'll push this date 
a little bit forward until I go to the cruise stage. But hopefully this weight here, 106.9, might be a kilo or two less. We'll see. Anyway, then I'll go through the cruise phase. This is where I alternate pure protein days, or I just eat protein, with protein and vegetables. So there's another 70 or 80 different meal, foods I can choose from, and so I'll never get bored with this. It's going to be great. And, uh, for example, a nice piece of grilled chicken with tomatoes and uh, cooked green beans is, is perfect. You know, that's a perfect cruise phase meal. And then other days, alternating with just pure protein, like in the attack phase. Now, it says perseverance. I don't see that really as perseverance. I can eat as much of this stuff as I want, remember. I'm not going to go hungry. And hopefully, by the end of this uh, period, which will take about six months, by the end of March... I should be down to my true weight, 82.7 kilograms, which is about 175, 180 pounds. Then I enter the consolidation phase. That's what I'm going to do next. And that's going to take nine months. And this, I won't lose any more weight, as you can see. I'll still be 82.7 kilos at the end, right the way through in December next year. But what will have happened is that my body will have consolidated my itself at that weight. So then, after that, I'm pretty much home free. I can eat what I want, I can drink my beer, I can eat a sausage if I want to eat a sausage. And providing I stick to one or two simple rules, then I will remain at my proper weight, my true weight, for the rest of my life. And really, that's what I'm doing this diet for. Okay, so that's my... Uh, stats. That's the uh, the plan that I've got in front of me. Those are my goals. Let's talk a little bit more about my goals before we finish. As I uh, sit here making this video, it's uh, just about 13 weeks until Christmas. And one goal that I have is really to shed 10 kilos before Christmas Day. And that's a big goal to have with any diet. And whether it's achievable or not, I'm not really sure. Um, you can all come along with me for the ride on this blog and to keep up to date with me, bookmark this page, keep coming back, seeing what's happening to me, uh, comment, support me, uh, tell me off if I transgress, and uh, just keep, keep along there with me, and uh, see if it's right for you. I mean, maybe this is a diet plan which is, uh, which is good for you. See how I get on, and then if it's good for you, then buy the book. That's what I did. Uh, you can get it, I think it's on the right side of this blog or just below this video, there'll be a link for a discounted, um, a discounted link to, uh, to, to, to buy the book. So get hold of the book, read through it yourself, decide whether it's for you or not. Anyway, thanks for watching, and do keep uh, looking at my blog, just keep uh, up to date, seeing what's happening, give me a bit of encouragement occasionally, and uh, it'd be great to have you all along with me. Bye for now.